In the news this week, Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd announced that he would do absolutely anything necessary to save Australia from this current financial crisis. Well, that is interesting news, and it is welcome news. Prime Minister, you only need to make five moves to achieve that goal. They are, one, abolish the 1953 split tax agreement, which allows multinationals to trade in this country without paying any tax. Two, abolish the Lima Agreement, where Australia agreed to give all of our technology to third world countries, and then to deliberately destroy our textile industries, white goods industries and other businesses and run our farmers off the land and then buy from those overseas countries what we used to make and grow here. Three, abolish any agreement to the MAI, Multilateral Agreement on Investment, or any other name it happens to have these days for the same thing, where we allow uh, multinationals to come into this country, buy up Australian businesses, sack the Australian workers and then bring from overseas their own workers and pay them their own wages. Four, you need to gain back control of our mints, you need to gain back control of the issuance of our money, and you need to disassociate yourself from the Reserve Bank of Australia, which is not government controlled, it is a conglomerate of multinationals, the same multinationals that are destroying Australia. And Fifth, you need to abolish the current tax system, which is unworkable, it's highly taxing the Australian public, and is very unfair. You need to implement the 1% uh, debit tax, which, once implemented, would be fair to all Australians. It would force the multinationals to actually pay 1% tax instead of zero, and it would generate over $750 billion per annum of tax income instead of the current $170 billion that we're operating under now. This extra income would allow Australia to put money into a greater upgrading of our infrastructure, hospitals, roads, rail, etc. It would bring about the greatest prosperity that Australia has ever seen because the average Australian would be earning more money, they would be spending more, they would be more prosperous, and the tax is fair, it's unfraudable. Australia wouldn't need to spend so much money on the tax department, tax agents or anything because the tax would go directly into the Treasury. This would bring about the greatest prosperity that this country has ever had. Now, the question remains, do you have the guts to implement these moves? Well, Prime Minister, the challenge is out there. The answers have been provided to you. If you wish to talk with experts in the field on the 1% debit tax and plus all of the other changes that have been outlined in this video, then you can contact me at Australian Independence Radio, PO Box 5069, Eagleby, Queensland 4207, or you can email us at airandtv at yahoo.com.au. That's A I R A N D TV at yahoo.com.au. Good day.